Hello team, welcome back to another Line War cast. This is your map today in a 1v1 between AK Misk in blue and Animorph in red. These are the picking phases. Red can spawn anywhere in any of these red territories. Blue is deciding to spawn in the bottom here, as you can see. And both players are going to spawn in the bottom. It's a, it's a lower bracket match in the T2 2023 tournament. That's going on right now. So the loser of this game, unfortunately, is going to be knocked out, sent to the Shadow Realm entirely, and the winner is going to go on to the lower bracket final. And the winner of the lower bracket final plays in the grand final for the tournament. And we will hopefully cast some of those games on the channel. Majorly going for barracks is red and more from the bottom right, and then to the left is AK Misk with the airport opener, town with pre-built money, and then three barracks and a factory. We saw earlier like the picking phases where the different players could go. I would have suspected, like I, I would think that neither player really knows that they're both in the bottom right now, potentially. Because the center was open for red to pick and I believe blue had another good spot. Either way, it's interesting to think like if the other, if both players are expecting each other, because this is AK Misk's vision We'll see Animorph soon, but Animorph, same thing, doesn't see that blue is here yet. And how these two builds would like interact with each other with blue going for helicopters and mostly barracks from red. There, I feel like there would even be a possibility that red can just rush blue down with a bunch of infantry here with an advantage of two barracks, which I suppose isn't all that much. But the factories earlier, I don't know. This is why we watched the game. Who knows? This is game three of the best of three between these two players. I don't have any idea who won. I never know who wins the games when I start casting a replay. I just watch it and enjoy it. All of this line war. Animorph's income is 370. AK Misk's income is 385. Which is pretty much equivalent when it really comes down to it. Clearly Blue's the only player with an eco building right now and there's not really much eco that Red can build when it comes down to like farms and lumber camps and mines. So I would suspect for Red that we're going to see a barracks to the north relatively quick to start getting some more infantry that can cap the like a largest part of the map. And similarly for blue, probably some sort of barracks at some point. I mean, this is now AK Misk's vision, and this is a bunch of infantry from red. For this it to be this much infantry, it would have to be like all of the starting territories infantry combined, or a lot of barracks. So AK Misk might have an idea, but what's going to go on here? It is Sam's coming out of the blue factory, but there are two helicopters done, which is nice. But red has one Sam already. And two helicopters would kill one Sam if it's just a straight up engagement. But with some of these infantry that can get underneath the helicopters and do some damage, it kind of changes things. It's a third helicopter for blue. And a great little dig in in the forest for AK Misk. I like this play from Animorph. This could do a lot of damage because this is going to be a bunch of infantry. And I think I would say, I mean, one of the barracks is going to go down if Red commits to this. Second Sam's completed. Third Sam on the way. Eco-wise, 465 for blue and 410 for red. And here comes this first refinery for AK Mist to make sure these helicopters can keep flying. Neither player really has a, too much of an advantage of how much they're capping outside of, like for the rest of the map. It's pretty much two squads each. And okay, Red's gonna target the factory. I Maybe I was a little bit too jumpy on it. I don't think this is actually gonna do much anymore. I've entirely changed my opinion. As has Animorph moving to the bottom side of this entrenchment instead of around the top. Probably makes more sense because it's less travel time for the infantry. And first artillery piece for AKA. 
is being constructed. Artillery will be huge here, will be extremely useful. It's very good against infantry as long as it doesn't die and it's not being engaged by the infantry immediately. The, I think one of the reasons why Red is targeting this factory is because it would be very nice to stop any more artillery pieces from being created. Why? Because of this like very heavy infantry style. Love that Animorph is going for a forward town here. This is the only constructible eco that Red has. And it looks like Animorph's bringing back these infantry to probably cut off these three blue infantry for AK Misk. And the longer that this sort of situation goes, I feel like it's it's better for blue than it is for red. There's more of like this open back part that blue can get and some more industry that can be constructed. This is a huge pickup from AK Misk, destroying that one Sam. Because these it's like little things like that where then all of a sudden there's just a blue helicopter swarm and, and nothing can be done about it. If it gets too out of control, it is four of them right now, which one blue refinery is going to be able to sustain. Good micro, I think, from Anamorph to cut off these three blue infantry. But if AK Miss gets like a barracks up here or something, that would be very bad, I think. Or red, because blue is going to take all of that northern territory, then eco-wise it's just going to be hard to deal with. This is also a very tough situation for Animorph. I mean, there's there's probably like two things you could probably could do, which is like dig in in front of this town, or dig in further back. But neither one's really all that attractive. And so Animorph's going to put down two more barracks and keep pushing. And I like this. So it's four barracks for blue, but now seven barracks for red. Same factory count. I guess the only difference is whether Red's going to be able to keep these SAMs alive to provide cover so the helicopters can't destroy all the infantry. This is where artillery pieces shine. With these infantry standing in front of the fr in front of it, making sure that the Red infantry can't just attack it. And it just sits in the back there. And now this is where it, it's not as good for it. And it will die immediately. So we gotta check the total eco, 545 for red and 607 for blue, and blue is the first one to build a barracks on the northern part of the map. Yeah, there's nothing else here. And so that just means over time there's gonna be more blue infantry that are gonna be able to win all that territory. And it's important because red's also taken some of this territory, so as blue starts capping these territories back, not only does does blue gain money but red loses money just explaining math to the audience but you like you get what i mean it's a very important thing if it's in one of the tool tips in the game or one of the tutorials in in game says it's always better to conquer your opponent's territories than a neutral one and so the helicopters are going to dip entirely this is blue's vision so saw that there's four sams and now they're going to go up to the north, these helicopters, and then just help win this fight. Which I think is like the most important thing that we're seeing. Great reaction time, I think, from Animorph to start sending the Sams up to the north after seeing that those helicopters just left abruptly. Because Red probably knows that there's now going to be five helicopters up top. Even digging in, in the mountain range, I think this is a very good play. I think this is play the game so far in a lot of ways. The helicopters are going to be able to, you know, pick up the infantry when they're sitting in the entrenchments like that. But at least they'll, the infantry will have that defensive bonus. And, and hopefully hold out long enough for there to get some SAMs up there. I don't know if AKA is just building straight artillery now out of this factory. Probably. this There's actually a tank out of the second blue factory. This is a good push, I think, from Animorph. It's a bunch of units clumped up. They're attacking all at once. Here comes the move commands for red. Those blue lines. Animorph urging the troops to get further ahead and past the entrenchment. 
And this is the sort of damage that these four helicopters, and now there's going to be a fifth one, but how much the damage they do to the infantry in a line in one pass. So really, that, that infantry can only withstand, you know, one or two more runs from the helicopters. And hopefully by that point, there will be two SAMs up north for Red, who puts down another barracks right at the push. This could go poorly for AKA at any second now. Because it, it's going to get very difficult to hold off this horde of infantry. If enough of them start attacking the producers. This tank is going to be super good for blue. Because this town's really undefended. And it'll mean that red's going to have to, you know, divert some units from pushing and, and instead start defending with them. It's like major strength of tanks. There's two big fights going on. This is not looking good for Red, clearly. But this is looking okay for Red. Something could... This could definitely work out. This one tank is capping this territory, which isn't super bad or anything for Blue. But the point being, it hasn't really started... It's offensive action against the town. I suppose one of the reasons could be because of Blue's energy. The helicopters are working you know, quite a lot in the north, and so they're probably just using up too much, and that tank can't really go. And top down, clearly blue has more territory. This is now being played, I think, more almost... It'll have to start being played as more as, like, an all-in. And uh, also, apologies if the mic was, uh, is too loud, and it's clipping. Sorry. Okay, so the infantry is on top of all this production. The worst, I mean, any of these buildings are pretty bad to lose for Animorph, and I don't think that, or sorry, for AK, and I don't think that Blue's going to be able to hold maybe a few of these buildings. The tanks are definitely going to have to get involved, and they are. And now we have to watch this. AK is only running on one refinery, so if the helicopters want to start defending and the tanks want to get in here to destroy the SAMs, Yeah, big blob of infantry, or big blob of anything, I suppose, can be, you know, it can catch you off guard. And one second it feels like it's handled, and the next second it's not. Keeping these Sams alive is super important. So the town goes down. I'm not sure, though, if that would matter in general. Because blue might just have way more economy, and it's still... Yeah, 700 for blue. 585 for red. I think, unfortunately for red, th this big push had to kill most of these buildings. In order to be super successful. But that being said, Animorph's still alive in the north. Has kept this barracks alive and digging in Sam's in the absolute best position they possibly could be. Or, like, one of them. The fact that they're dug in this close to the barracks, I think, is really good. The big problem, of course, is these two barracks for AK still producing. There's no barracks on the left-hand side, but over time, Blue's going to take all of this. And money-wise... I don't know. This will be... I will be extremely impressed now. If Animorph can pull this back. I mean, Animorph is a player capable of doing it. But this is, a, this is a tough spot. There's no more Sams in the south. I suppose there's one second one reinforcing soon. But all Blue really needs to do is not lose this entire main base. And then just win the north. Which it's so far going well. There's going to be a second refinery at some point for Blue put down, I assume. Maybe back here. Maybe even up north. Or more barracks. So I guess, I mean, it would seem that Blue is not entirely convinced that this is an easy situation at this point. You're really only going to build a barracks if you need more units.
still a lot of barracks for red this is a lot of infantry i mean the here's the play clearly it's been that the red infantry is just going to get kind of behind these defensive lines and then try to take a better angle and in theory that's i think it's a wonderful play but it is a lot of blue units at this point defending huge defense against those tanks which aren't able to destroy the barracks great news for red these helicopters are chewing up this infantry I don't even know what you would really do as red 792 income for blue 595 still for red One of the problems is that the artillery count for blue is now getting to the point where they're a little bit more resilient to when like the infantry finally get on top of their artillery pieces. And this looks like it's gearing up for the blue to be able to go for a counter push with the strength of helicopters and artillery pieces. There's no more tanks for blue. Which kind of makes sense because we're seeing that energy being taxed pretty heavily from these helicopters. Black, black plumes of smoke indicating that they are out of energy. And wouldn't be able to move. Animorph's got a good scout on top of this refinery to make sure that... I mean, it's not there, unfortunately. I mean, maybe this one infantry would have been able to destroy it if AK had built it there. I'm kind of surprised AK still didn't build a second refiner yet. But it's working so far, so I mean, who, when am I, you know... It doesn't matter what I think. AK is winning this game, it looks like. And I, this has been such a fantastic defense of these two barracks. From Animorph. I'm surprised that those barracks have were not destroyed long ago. I mean, neither of these players are are a slouch. I think on some uh, tournament bracket predictions, AK was, you know, like the one to win the tournament. Animorph, I think, showed up as the winner in a handful of the brackets as well. Both longtime players. And I mean, I love that, like, Animorph's not giving up. And that's, that's how you want it. That's what you want to see in a tournament in line war this is this is just good fighting spirit but certainly top down it's just so much more blue this is a great play i mean it's things like this that it, earlier maybe like if an infantry was able to snipe the the gas then the helicopters for blue would have stopped working for a little bit but this is now a lot of blue army with a good number of helicopters to support there's more helicopters on the way barracks in the north still isn't dead though so you know did ak really win this game because that's a huge defense there's eco now for blue and that's probably the sign that this is over 615 income for red and 952 for blue who i believe will just win on this push wait i want to kill counts on these units so i can see how many of those two sams got because <laughs> it has to be a bunch i think they killed the tanks that ran by earlier Mini tanks too good. Well, I think next up, like, I mean, there's the bunch of games we're still going to cast from the tournament, but there is the upper bracket semifinal of Welcome To against Nickname. That's going on. And so uh, it looks like AK will play the uh, loser of the Nickname Welcome To game. 
And then the winner of that game will play the winner of the face-off between AK and I've now lost, you know, like, whatever I was saying. The, you can go look up the bracket online and how the double elimination works. Jeez, GG. Let's look at some graphs. Yeah, that I was super rooting for the barracks. Kind of all into work. I liked, I mean, I love barracks, but this is the unit's loss. You can see a lot of infantry in that game. Folks, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, check out the Line War Discord if you want to learn more about the game or download the replay files yourself so you can watch replays, whatever ones you want, whenever you want. I uh, hope you have a wonderful night, day, evening, breakfast, lunch, dinner, whatever it is, wherever you are. Peace.